Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here with your flying weather outlook for the week and weekend ahead brought to you exclusively by Flyer in association with weatherschool.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Now, um, before we kick off, just to let you know, I've got a couple or three places left on my Aviation Weather School online course on the consecutive Tuesdays of the 31st of January and the 7th of February between 6.30pm and 9pm. This course presented entirely live online by me and um, makes a perfect Christmas gift. So if you want to get in there and get your place booked, I'd recommend you do so now. Uh, just go to weatherschool.co.uk and you can book your place. Be super to see you there. And I mean, you know by now that the idea is that you can be spotting weather windows five days in advance, boost your confidence in Met and uh, just understand it and enhance your flying and your enjoyment of flying by knowing you can trust the forecast that you're looking at. Be super to see you there. So go to weatherschool.co.uk and get your place booked now. This is how the week shapes up then. It's a chilly old week. We've got lowering freezing levels. We've got an icing risk as well because of that. Generally, western air is brighter than the east, particularly at first, but then a tendency towards more mixed conditions developing during the week with snow showers becoming more frequent as the week progresses. So a real taste of winter on the way. Now, on a Friday, I send out an update for my weekend forecast. It's completely free of charge. I send it out by email. So um, if you're not receiving that yet, and why not? Um, it's been running for over 20 years. Your email addresses are safe with us. We don't give you any spam or any rubbish like that. Um, just send a blank email to the address on the screen there, aviationweather-subscribe at weatherweb.net, and I'll get you added onto that list for that updated forecast every Friday. So uh, let's get on with it then. And um, this is the forecast. This is the forecast for Monday, where we've got a cold front moving its way into northern parts of Scotland. It's bringing some showers across these northern coasts of Scotland. A few showers as well across eastern England. Fairly breezy too with a northeasterly flow um, affecting many parts of the country. Some showers for Essex and for Kent. Some rain affecting the far southwest of Cornwall and a few showers for Eastern Ireland. But for many areas, it's going to be OK. It's still murky. We've still got bases of about um, 1,800 to 2,000 feet for many lower in the showers. But it's a sort of improved kind of day. Now, on Tuesday, the flow goes more into the north to northeast. As this happens, so we will see more of a tendency for visibility to start to improve. However, there will be wintry showers affecting eastern Scotland and eastern parts of England. Here, we're going into marginal conditions because of those showers. Bases one to 2,000 feet. I think the tops probably getting up at about 15 to 20,000 feet. Those showers turning increasingly wintry, perhaps to snow over high ground as well. Freezing levels coming down as well in that. So keep a careful eye on the forecast. Freezing level could be down at the surface in any heavier showers. Further west, it looks as if it should be a decent day. I'm not going to rule out some haze and some mist because there could be some around, but generally base is 3,000 feet, tops about 10,000 feet. Now for Wednesday, drier air gets south across all areas. So actually, it looks like being a reasonable sort of day for most. Base is 3,000 feet, tops 10,000 feet. However, you see the troughs here. These producing a few showers down eastern coasts of England. Again, they could be wintry. Bases 1 to 2,000 feet, 12 to 15,000 foot tops. And again, becoming marginal in those showers. And then this front gets into northern Scotland, bringing more persistent snow showers, turning into uh, non-VFR conditions, less than a 1,000 foot bases, 20 thousand foot tops and that front slips its way southwards tends to weaken as it does so but certainly uh, I think a deteriorating situation in northern Scotland. On Thursday similar really with western northern and eastern coasts of Scotland the northeast of England generally into non to marginal conditions because of the risk of those snow showers and you know it's like when the snow shower comes through the visibility just deteriorates rapidly so in the snow showers less than a thousand foot bases tops about 20,000 feet. Remnants of that cold front just moving through the Midlands, East Anglia and Wales as well, breaking up as it goes. But still, I think even along that, we could be marginal to non-VFR as sleet and perhaps even some snow over higher ground moves south. But once it's gone, we're into VFR conditions, 3,000 foot bases, 12,000 foot tops. And ahead of that front as well, across southern parts of England, it doesn't look too bad, I think, even here. We're going to be finding some morning flying to be found. And as I say, the front breaking up as it comes south. Now, through Friday, we start to see pressure dropping off. 
difficult to say where snow showers are going to be or, or winter showers are going to be because they'll rotate around this area of low pressure. So what I'm going to say is probably northern and western Wales, parts of northwest England, northern Ireland, seeing those showers going marginal at times in those snow showers. Also, probably eastern coast of England, marginal in, this, in any snow showers because of the proximity of that trough. But otherwise, generally very variable. 4,000 bases, 12,000 foot tops, but coming down significantly in any wintry showers. Saturday looks like this, cold fronts pushing southwards on Saturday. Snow showers across Scotland, Northern Ireland. We need to watch this one carefully again, though, that this doesn't spin up into something more persistent. Marginal to non-VFR. Elsewhere, generally looking flyable, but we've just got to be careful. Very, very careful with this, particularly as the cold front clears off southwards. And then for Sunday, well, a more mixed pattern on Sunday with that north to northwesterly flow. Western coast tend to see the snow showers. Marginal here in the snow showers. Bases in those showers, 1,000 foot tops, 20,000 feet. Elsewhere, generally VFRable. Bases 3,000 feet, tops at 10,000 feet. But like I say, love and certainty in the detail going into the weekend. However, there are definitely some flying windows in there. I have got my fingers crossed that I can get up there myself during this week. Okay, I'll leave you with that for now. Don't forget, um, go and get yourself booked on my Evening Aviation Weather School Part 1 course coming up on the Tuesdays of the 31st of January and the 7th of February between 6.30 and 9pm in the evenings. If you're wondering what it's like, well, uh, it's me presenting the course to you live and then after each of the sessions, you actually get a recording of the course to watch. So uh, you can go back and anything you've missed, you can take notes on and just go over again. So that recording is available for you for up to a week afterwards. And go and have a look at the reviews, see what other people have said about the course as well and see what your fellow pilot pilots have to say. Okay, I'll leave you with that for now. This has been a bit of a long one, hasn't it? But I hope you got to the end. Whatever you're doing, thanks again for watching. Keep the sun shining and bye for now.